Before we begin with the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications button. That way you guys are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Thank you so much, and please enjoy this new video. Hello there everyone, Nabil6901 here, and welcome back to yet another Star Wars Resistance action figure review. Today we're going to continue reviewing this line by taking a look at the First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, I gotta say I really love the animation style uh, for the First Order Troopers, and um, th this action figure looks pretty legit. But before we take a look at the figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging, shall we? Um, it's in the new Resistance style packaging, so it's white and blue scheme all over. You have the Star Wars logo, black and white. The Aegis 4 and Up logo there. A fantastic shot of the First Order Stormtrooper. These logos here, Warning Disney and Hasbro logo at the bottom, uh, letting you know that it's from the Resistance show. On the back, you have a little bio. If you guys want to pause the video and read that, you're more than welcome to. Some of the other figures in the wave, I've already reviewed Sonara, so make sure to check that out. And all that other stuff, barcode at the bottom. All right, so let's take a look at the figure. So, let's look at the accessories. The only accessory it comes with, of course, is the typical uh, First Order Stormtrooper blaster. Detail on it looks pretty great. I like what Hasbro did here. Uh, they painted it quite nicely. You guys can see there. You know, they could have easily just painted it all black, but they went ahead and painted it more or less what we've seen in the movies. And, of course, in the show. So, there's that. Alright, now let's take a quick look at the at the articulation. Now with the First Order, what I love is that he has seven points of articulation. Okay, so he has swivel arms, right? Just like every other figure in the wave. Swivel legs, they go about that much, right? And he also has swivel wrists, which is fantastic. And of course the head, which is on a ball joint right there, so, I gotta say, good job Hasbro. Um, you know, I like when they do that sometimes for some of the figures. You know, some that need certain, a little bit more range of motion. So I think that definitely helps the figure and kind of is a higher selling point in my case. Alright, now we're going to take a look at the detail. Detail is, you know, pretty bland, but that's because the Stormtrooper armor is bland itself. But it's nice though, the details. Uh, as you guys can see here, the helmet, of course, you know, resembles what we've seen in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I love the animated style look. It kind of has a more um, flattened area here, right, um, in, in between the middle part, uh, part of the visor. So it looks great. I got a little paint splash there. Not a big deal. Doesn't ruin the figure for me. I do like it. All the way around the helmet just looks nice. The body armor looks good. Those could be painted black, but it's not a real, like I said, it's not a big deal. Arms, belt, I mean, he's just basically all black and white all around. Unfortunately, you can't attach the blaster here like you uh, can with some of the uh, movie-style First Order Stormtroopers. It's a minor gripe, I mean. And, the, and it doesn't come with a smaller blaster either that some of the previous movie versions of this character uh, allowed you to do, or allowed you to have. But yeah, detail-wise, he's pretty cool. So now I want to compare him to a movie version of the same character. Um, obviously the height excluded because the movie version is on a stand. Uh, because it sucks having to try and have him stand on his own. Um, but yeah, so the main part that I want to point out is the helmet. Um, after doing some digging... This is actually so much more accurate to the movies than this. This one, as you can see, they made it more of a classic Stormtrooper style, when it's not supposed to be that way. Um, and, and it's just mainly the visor parts. Um, other than that, though, they're pretty much the same, like I said, in terms of the detail and all that stuff. They could have painted that part black, this part black couple of areas on his shoulders too from what I was looking at some reference shots from the movies both the force awakens and the last Jedi uh, see like in this one you can peg the blaster whereas you know on this version you can't at all but it's just minor things like that it's not a big deal still it's pretty uh pretty accurate I could have painted this part too here so just little things like that um without the stand though uh, the movie version, at least this is the uh, 
the three and three quarter inch black series or the vintage collection now as it were is slightly taller than this one but that's to be expected because usually for uh, animated versions they tend to scale them down for I guess animated purposes one final comparison I just want to compare him to the uh, rebels Imperial Stormtrooper and um, they scale just about the same honestly maybe the um, the first order is slightly slightly a bit smaller but not by much and of course the armor is going to be different that much we all know um because of the time period and all that stuff but other than that they look good together i do like the first order a lot more not just because of the style of the armor but because um in terms of the armor itself uh hasbro made this one glossier looking than this one this one has a mixture of glossy with some matte finishes so there's a lot of inconsistency Alrighty everyone, so this pretty much concludes my review on the First Order Stormtrooper. Hopefully you guys have found this review informative. Uh, definitely pick this guy up. Uh, he's cool. Um, he's an animated style uh, version of the characters we've seen in The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Uh, perfect army builder for all of you guys who like to do that. Um, but comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. Are you guys going to pick it up? It's a pass. Um, make sure to check out my other reviews on the Resistance characters that I've reviewed so far, which have been on Kaz, Tora, and Sonara. Next up, my reviews will be on Major Von Reg and Commander Pyre. Uh, give this video a nice thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on my social media accounts, Facebook and Twitter, at Nabil6901. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, may the Force be with you.